Vibratome technology for histological analysis of embryo development. For the analysis of embryo development in cassava, personnel will harvest female flowers of different ages after anthesis. Flowers are collected in small plastic bottles, which properly identify the origin of the flowers. In other words, the name of the clone from which they were collected. The samples include flowers at anthesis and from one to three days after anthesis in order to determine the stage of development of the embryo sac and from seven to thirty days after pollination with cassava pollen to follow up the various developmental stages of the embryo development from the zygote with the first cell divisions pro-embryo at seven days after pollination up to the embryos at the globular stage 20 to 30 days after pollination, depending on the genotype. The flowers and fruits are kept in a fixing solution until they are taken to the laboratory. Ovules are extracted from the carpel and immersed in a fixing solution for at least eight days. The ovules are removed from the fixing solution, washed twice in 50% ethanol and then dehydrated in alcohol solutions at different concentrations. Finally, water has been extracted from the tissue and the ovules are rigid enough to be cut with the vibratome. Once dehydrated, the ovules are placed onto a 1.5 by 1.5 cm square piece of 5% agarose gel, previously fixed to the plate using a synthetic additive. A solution of 70% ethanol is used to keep the tissue stiff during the cuts. Cuts are made using a Leica Series 1000S Vibratome, varying the speed from 40 to 60 and the frequency from 4 to 6, depending on the size of the ovule. Slices of various thicknesses from 27 to 130 micrometers can be obtained. Once the sections have been cut, the clearing process begins. After cutting, the slices are kept in 70% ethanol for 24 hours then dehydrated in series sequences of ethanol 85% to 100%. Finally, they are transferred to a clearing solution of methyl salicylate and etho 100% in a 1-1 ratio and 1-3 ratio for 12 hours each or longer, according to the thickness of the tissue. The process of clearing is that we also embebiendo el, el tejido en una solución y esa solución lo que hace es cambiar eh, la forma en que el tejido absorbe la luz poniendo todos a la, la misma forma y queda transparente entonces por eso al verlo en la tecnología DI que es el Normansky hace que el tejido se resalte y se vean las estructuras internas Slices are then observed using Nikon Eclipse TIS inverted microscope equipped with Nomarski's differential interference contrast optics with appropriate filters for optimal viewing and photography. The reason why we got interested in optimizing the use of vibratome technology was to reduce the number of ovules slice samples that needed to be analyzed in contrast when using microtrome technology. The standard histology analysis of plant tissues is usually done by tissue preparation, including embedding samples in paraffin blocks, which are then sectioned with a microtome in thin slices from 4 microns to 8 to 10 microns, followed by staining for observation with light microscopy. Although this protocol is usually the technique of choice when detailed documentation is required, it is cumbersome to use as a tool for screening large number of samples. 
Cassava ovules are much larger in size compared to other species. Therefore, several histology sections are required in order to reconstruct a particular developmental stage. In contrast, complete cassava ovules histology analysis can be accomplished in a few sections when using vibratome. The objective of this work was to use vibratome to ease the histology analysis for documentation of the development of the female gametophyte and the early post-fertilization stage and embryo formation in cassava. The ease and fast processing of samples with vibratome permits to process large number of samples, providing high standard resolution of structures at the cellular level. These techniques could be used as a tool for broad screening of samples in a shorter period of time compared to the standard processing with microtome and staining. The use of vibratome and tissue clearing, in combination with or without staining, may be useful for analysis of large number of samples to document the initial stages of cell divisions from the egg cell and to monitor the embryo formation when developing and optimizing a protocol for haploid technology via genogenesis or rescue from distant crosses.